First thing is make sure we got heat. In one of the last videos, I went to go cut wood and I don't remember if it was that video or another video, but I basically said my truck was dead. So that's where we got to start first. But before that, I guess I got to let the chickens out and probably throw in a little bit of wheat or something for them. This door always sticks. What on earth are you doing back there? <laughs> now, how are you going to get out? Oh, like that. All right, then. Hello. Jeez. Don't even finish chewing their food. So I store some of the feed in here because we have some rats and mice that like to go in the barn. And they'll rip, as you can see, they ripped that bag open pretty good already. It's always really neat watching them come out. I threw some oats out here last night. Uh, there's a hawk just chilling. that just took off back there. I don't know if it, the camera picked that up or not. So that's interesting. They flock out of here so fast. And while we're up here, we might as well check their feed level. And yeah, we gotta add some. Before we do anything, throw this load of, load of wood off. They want a decent amount of either rain or snow tomorrow. So I really wanna get this pile completely filled which we are really close so we should easily be able to do that today and then get it covered up should be really easy. Just like that, we're back to full. And good for maybe a week. <laughs> I just happened to look down here and seen something I really didn't want to see and I probably won't really get close up there but you see that discoloration right there that is a pile of feathers and a ripped apart bird so I'm guessing that's why that hawk was there unfortunately yeah, if I had to guess I'm gonna just assume that maybe it didn't go back in at night or something and I didn't notice it and maybe something, I don't know. We have a lot of predators around here. Coyotes, fox, possum. I, don't, I haven't really had any issues with possum to my knowledge, but raccoons are one of the biggest predators that I've had issues with. They have cleaned me out of chickens numerous times. So frustrating. So we gotta try and jumpstart the truck now. 
Yep. Click. Well, that was extremely painful. It's amazing how much wood was actually in that pile. So I would have never thought it would have been a all but a full truckload. So we can obviously get quite a bit more in there though. And uh, we got the logs to do it. With the help of the excavator and two people got a lot cut in a short period of time there is a ton of wood here multiple pickup loads and we still have the full one from this morning and I got a bunch split over here now that's probably at least half a pickup load already yeah this is gonna easily fill that up Plus I still have some laying on the ground here that I that fell down that I had on top here that I gotta stack back up, but I don't know if I wanna stack that up here or just throw it in. I guess I'll probably just stack it. Took half the load, or a little better, at least half. But it's pretty much full. 
So we can go ahead and cover it, and that means we're gonna beat the snow. And then the rest of this, which we're gonna have to use some to put on the top to obviously weigh the tarp down. It's kind of like I did on that one over there. But I don't really foresee it taking the rest of this. It might, I'm not sure, but the rest of this is gonna have to go on the new rack that we just built the other day. So if you missed that video, be sure to check that out. I'll make sure it's right here for you in the corner, either this corner or that corner. Should have probably heaped it up a little bit more than that in the center, but it does have slope off the tarp, so should be good. We pretty much got that done. It's definitely not sloped as hard as that one. I mean, I know that's far. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that one's really heaped in the center, but it's also a much bigger pile. So should be good. The rest of this will go to the new rack. There it is, all empty and such. That's about to change. Now what I'm gonna do, if you guys, like I said, if you watched the last video, you remember how I said this is sloped really bad on the back side. It's the whole thing is kind of sloped that way and leaning towards the back of the woods. So I think what I'm going to do to try and alleviate that and fix that problem is I'm going to first run the wood like this, stack that, and then I'll actually lay pieces this way. So to get you a little bit of perspective, Now I'm not going to do that the whole way and that's a little too much, uh, but it's actually, that may actually be level, honestly, I don't know, but that's going to help that backside be up a lot better. So hopefully that works. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. one but while we're here we might as well feed the ducks a little homemade corn crib we got So soft. I can honestly say, I have never seen a rat, and I'm assuming this is a rat, chew through plywood. My gosh! I'm gonna take this trash can, which is what I used to use for uh, chicken feed when I had the chickens up here. And this is what I'm gonna try and put, other than the crack there, but this is what I'm gonna try and put my wheat bran in for the mealworms and hope that those moths and caterpillar things don't get in it. And then I can keep it in the house too, in the basement. Got a good start on the stack here. That's about one, one and a half, maybe, maybe not half, but one and a quarter, something like that, loads, pickup truck loads. And I'm doing the, the back, like I said, pretty much the whole length running them lengthwise that way. And it seems to be working really well. So hopefully, and that's probably about level where that's stacked now. So should be doing pretty good with it. Hopefully I don't have to continue doing that for all the other rows and that row should hold everything, but I may have to do it for one back here. That duck right there swimming, that is, uh, that's ours. <laughs> it flew away from the other ducks all the way up on top of my parents and now it's down here at this pond, at our pond, and hasn't come back, and there's no chance I'm gonna catch it. So hopefully it sticks around and nothing happens to it. So far, so good. Darn door. Overall, pretty productive day. 
Now it's feeding time again. They're ready. That's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Plenty more stuff coming. So be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed, because like I said, there's gonna be a lot more coming. And even they say you should subscribe. Yeah. So definitely subscribe to the channel. You don't wanna miss anything that's coming, especially, you know, spring when planting season, all that stuff. So drop a like, comments below. I'll catch you guys in the next video.